What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? I'm coming back at you with some more awesome tips from Jay Watkins Jr., who's a guide that specializes in artificial lures and competes in some of the biggest trout fishing tournaments here in Texas. Now, this was a personal question of mine because as I moved to Texas, I found that there was a big lure that everyone loved to use to target trophy trout, and I've had some great success with it, and that was the Paul Brown Fat Boy. And recently, I've started using the Softdyne XL. These are two amazing lures that I've had a lot of success with, and I wanted to get his opinions, being that he's fished these lures his whole life for these trophy trout, which one to use in which scenario when you're targeting big fish. So I'm gonna let him share his thoughts here. Like certain days obviously dictate certain ways, I, baits I use and actions that I'm gonna throw or actions that I'm gonna retrieve it. Today, pulling up in here, the bait that we've seen has been on the surface, which means the fish should be swimming right underneath them looking up, which is why I'm throwing a floating uh, fat boy and working it quick. They're, they're looking at this already, expecting this is what Menhaden and Shad are looking like right now as far as these schools of mullet and Shad are on the surface right in here, which I'm imitating that with my bait, same thing. So I, it just depends on what the bait's doing. If I see the bait in there and seeing slicks and I'm not seeing, you know, or not uh, getting bites, then I'll throw something that gets on the bottom because the fish aren't necessarily active, pushing up, eating the bait. They still may be there, but they're not in a, you know, a feed time. So I'll downsize and throw, you know, a soft dine, something that sinks a little bit more just to keep that bait in the strike zone longer for that fish to make a mistake. So I throw the fat boy a lot more in the winter time. Like I start going away from the fat boy as soon as the spring gets here because it's a bigger bait. You want to throw a smaller bait in the spring because there's an prevalent amount of bait fish. So they're, they're not necessarily eating one as big. So in the winter time, the reason we throw fat boys, even though a fat boy is a big bait, it's a small mullet compared to what's in the bays because in the winter time, we don't have menhaden and you know a lot of perch and, and little bitty bait fish in the bays because it's cold. So those fish go out really, really deep where you don't see them or you know die off, whichever the case is. Small bait to a trout or a red at that time of year, you know, in the winter months, a fat boy is a small mullet. You know, granted, we're looking for in the winter time, I mean, any kind of mullet we see, even a 12, 14 inch mullet jump is good enough for us uh, as far as where we'll fish and those fish will eat one that big. They don't want to, but they will uh, at, at times just because of that's what's in there. For them, that's what they can catch. For higher success, the warmer the water gets is probably still gonna be soft dines. Uh, it's a little bit smaller bait, you know, stays in the strike zone, which they both will stay in the strike zone the same amount of time, but that smaller one, you know, that little quicker, you know, versus that bigger, you know, swoop back and forth, mirror a, uh, you know, shad or a little perch in the water doing that over top, over the top of grass versus a bigger mullet. The, the fish will eat mullet year round, but they just get pickier in the uh, spring because they can. You know, when you go to a buffet and there's steaks and cheeseburgers and pork chops, you can eat whatever you want. Well, in the wintertime, they only have ground beef because that's what mullet are to them. So that, they eat only ground beef because that's all they have. Uh, which is why we'll throw the bigger baits in the uh, wintertime because they're still small baits compared to what they're seeing on the average. So pretty great explanation there. It's definitely gonna change how I decide to use these lures and which situation I'm gonna use that Fat Boy or that Softdyne XL in. Both are amazing lures to target trout with. We actually do have both of them in the Salt Strong shop. If you guys are interested in picking them up, I've caught a lot of really great fish with them. I can't recommend them enough. So I highly recommend you guys grab some in the Salt Strong shop. If you are an insider, you do get 20% off of those so definitely take advantage of that discount if you're part of the insider club and if you're not definitely check us out at saltstrong.com we've got a ton of amazing information designed to help you guys become better anglers from courses on the water reports and an amazing community where you guys can get in there talk to other anglers in your area and find out what the current trends are so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video and if you're new to salt strong just know we're the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're going to help you catch more inshore fish save Save money on tackle and make friends fast or it's free so we're looking forward to seeing you guys in the salt strong insider club soon and thanks again for watching